Hello everyone, I'm Alan Denman, novelist and filmmaker. Welcome to Storyteller, exploring the art and purpose of storytelling, modern and ancient. And before we get into today's topic, which is the big secret behind the success of Star Wars, I want to just invite you, I would like to invite you to my Writer's Emporium, my brand new website, which is now open. Uh, the, it is a sort of audio-visual world in which you can find my novels and stories, articles, story bites, little sayings and insights into the art of storytelling. And it's very visual with fantastic AI images created by my friend who is a very talented um, designer of websites. So come and come and visit my emporium, as I call it, alandenman.com. OK, so right, let's get into today's topic, the big secret behind the success of Star Wars. Now, this has been explored be before, but I'm going to give you a, a, new, a few new angles, a, a few new insights on it. Well, the big secret of Star Wars success is in the story itself. And there's a chap called Joseph Ch Campbell. He died, uh, I think, in about 1984. And he was uh, very famous for a book called The Hero with a Thousand Faces and promoting this idea of an archetypal story pattern, which he called the hero's journey. And the hero's journey is related also to, uh, you, you know, archetypal storytelling and archetypal figures. And then that takes us back further to the work of Carl Jung and the collective unconscious. And um, Carl Jung said that there is this sort of library of archetypal images which occur timelessly in different cultures at different times and so forth. And, you know, th this is like almost like the sort of unconscious language of the human race. And Joseph Campbell then, I think, developed this idea further and said that there is this archetypal story pattern. And in this archetypal story pattern, you meet mentors and shapeshifters and threshold guardians, allies, shadow figures. These are all character types that we are all familiar with in some way, but we may not be very conscious of them. So uh, what is it about Star Wars in particular? Well, the interesting thing is that Joseph Campbell visited George Lucas's ranch and worked with him on the creation of Star Wars, at least not the, the film itself, but the story. And so this is really the biggest secret of the success of Star Wars is the story. Because, of course, if you, I'm sure you realise this, that for every film, Film, you must have a script or a screenplay and the screenplay is really a, a, a narrative form written in a very very brief minimalist way but it is a story so you've got to get the story right first and the thing is about the hero's journey story pattern is that it is universal and timeless. This is the idea of Joseph Campbell, the idea of Carl Jung, that there is this sort of timeless language and set of images, if you like, that reside, reside within us as collectively in the human race. So um, what is the, the hero's journey? Um, why is it so resonant? Because in some ways, as Joseph Campbell said, it represents life itself. We come into uh, physical form. We're born from our mother's womb. And then we begin on our journey. So life itself is a hero's journey through time and space. And what happens in the hero's journey pattern is what happens in Star Wars, of course. You have a young guy living in a backwater planet and his life is going nowhere. And then he receives a call to adventure. Hey, do you want to come into space? Do you want to have great adventures? Do you want to find out 
what you're really made of? Do you want to evolve yourself in some way, grow stronger, more knowledgeable, uh, and so forth? And this call to adventure, um, uh, you know, leads him. Of course, he can refuse it, which is one of the stages of the hero's journey. But, of course, if he did, there would be no Star Wars. He'd be still on that desert planet going nowhere. But he does accept the call to adventure, and then off we go. And of course, what do we find? There are fine, we find that there are archetypal characters turn up. He has a mentor, Oban Kenobi. He has a shadow figure, okay, which is, of course, Darth Vader. And how do you know he's a shadow figure? Well, he's all in black, isn't he? That's a kind of a bit of a giveaway there. He has allies uh, and so forth. And he goes on this great journey and evolves and grows and develops as a human being on the way. And I think the biggest secret of Star Wars, doesn't matter how the sets and designs, the photography and so forth, the acting, that's all terribly important. But deep down underneath, it is the story itself. And the story is an archetypal story. Yes, it's told in a modern science fiction, science fantasy form in space, but at heart, it is a universal story that appeals to the heart and mind of everybody watching it, or most people watching it. So that, in my view, is the biggest secret of the success of Star Wars. OK, I hope you found that interesting. And if you want to uh, study the hero's journey a bit more, I suggest you read Chris Vogler's book called The Writer's Journey, where he, if you like, translated the hero's journey, the work of Joseph Campbell for screenwriters to use. And a lot of Hollywood movies have been based upon his work and uh, that book, The Writer's Journey and The Hero's Journey Template. So... There we are. Um, so that's it. Hope that was interesting. And we're just scratching the surface of the hero's journey here. But it is a universal story pattern. And that is what really resonated with the audience. We recognize this story pattern at some unconscious level. And that gave the film and the story in the film massive appeal, universal appeal. That's it. OK, that's it for today. Come and visit my site, alandenman.com, and I'll speak to you next time.